Welcome back to another video. It's the one and only Pocket Gaming. Today, we're going to talk about Nether Games and how they finally did the right thing. Anyways, if you guys could take a second to leave a like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on your thoughts in this situation and click the little bell to have notifications for all my future live streams and videos. But without further ado, let's go. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you know Nether Games from either playing in the community or the times where I've talked about Nether Games and the bad things they've done in the past. However, we're not here for any of that. And if you don't know, most of the staff doesn't like me, but I feel like that might change after this video. So let's get right into it. Now, I would have made this video sooner if I had known most of this information, but I'm glad I'm here to make it anyways. Basically, in the past, Nether Games was known for stealing Hypixel's maps and everyone was calling them out for it. So with all of that in mind, let's read these articles. October 30th, 2020. Hello everyone, no doubt many of you have already seen the new maps released earlier today that has replaced all previous maps. The build team has worked extremely hard over the past week to produce these 34 maps. Over the next couple of weeks, more maps will be rolled out to Bed Wars, Duels, Murder Mystery, and Sky Wars to increase the range available for selection. Unfortunately, previous maps sourced elsewhere will not be returning due to legal restrictions. This is obviously an extremely disappointing outcome that none of us hope for. However, it is a matter that is outside of our control. We had originally been planning to release custom maps alongside the previous set of maps, but due to this unexpected issue, we have had to resort to these steps. So basically what they're saying right here, guys, is, you know, the copyright, like we were all saying, and like I was saying in the past, not because I was a hater or anything, I was literally looking out for another games because like, dude, if you're using someone else's maps that are copyrighted, you're obviously going to have to deal with those problems. So nether games anyone watching this at home let's just let's just give them a round of applause real quick man let me let me start clapping for real i'm so proud of nether games for finally changing the maps dude i was waiting forever dude forever and i know i'm a little late on it because this is october 30th but you guys got to understand from my position you know with you know with them saying that you know i can't dm them until i have 25k subs and just kind of being disrespectful you know i didn't want to spend any time but over time, you know, uh, or not over time, I'd say rather this week, I decided to, you know, look into Nether Games and see what's happening. I hopped on a game and, you know, started recording and I actually was really happy that they changed their lobby. Um, they changed their maps. Now, the only issue for me is still the layout. Like if you go, if like on this Bed Wars gameplay, you can still see that it's the same, like, you know, like with all the teams on the top right, you know, if, on the GUI, they've got everything the same still on the, um, you know, like just when you go to the shop and stuff, it's still the same as Hypixel, but it's not as big of a problem as actually just stealing everything like their maps. So I guess that's a W for Nether Games. Okay. And they followed it up with this. Hello everyone, we're excited to be announcing beta testing is now open for the upcoming 4.0 network. Here's what's changed. Guild systems have been rewritten for better stability, new anti-cheat developed improving cheat detection, language system redeveloped, new layout for cosmetics and profile settings, new proxy that bows better performance, enhanced cross-server communication. So with me playing it, I did notice that the hackers was way less. Like before there were so many hackers like in every game. Um, almost every game that I would play and there'd be like somebody hacking. But now it seems like they've improved really well with that. So yeah, Nether Games, let's build up from this. Let's do it. I'm so proud of you guys for finally listening to the community and changing these maps. I know it looks a little bit similar, but this is a custom map, so props to you guys for that. Now, please just change the GUI where it has the teams and, you know, the timer and, you know, how it says Diamond 2. You know, yeah, take all that. Just change that. You know, don't. it looks exactly like Hypixel. If you change that, that's my only, like, you know, constructive criticism left. And the item shop a little bit you guys are you guys have a fire server you know you guys have because I, I actually enjoyed playing it for once so i can't believe i'm saying that but i really am and it was fun you know it was actually fun playing it today so hey props to you guys you know hopefully we can build up from this hopefully the staff doesn't hate me anymore i don't see a reason why to i really didn't do anything wrong to them other than you know just exposing what they were doing wrong but look it helped you guys for the future right i'm not saying i'm the only reason why because there was a lot of people talking about it but hey I feel like I made a little bit of a difference. So appreciate you guys for doing the right thing. Let's keep it pushing. Keep on prospering because Nether Games, if you guys stay like this, I can see you guys having a bright future and I'll be rooting for you. So yeah, that's the video, guys. That's the topic of today. I'm glad I was able to update a lot of people on this Nether Game situation because so many people were, you know, asking me like, what else happened now? Or what's the update? So that's the update. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is kind of crazy to me, but I do do like this a lot. You know, these positive vibes, man, these positive stories, they definitely hit, dude. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. We're so close to 8,000 subscribers. I can't say thank you enough, man. You guys are literally the best audience on YouTube. I know every YouTuber is going to say that, but I, I try to mean it. You know, I try to genuinely mean it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. It's been your boy Pocket Gaming. You already know what we say. Empire out.